Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here, and yeah, tried and true old friend. A little bit of industrial arts up in this piece. This is their state of the art IPA. This is a rotating series, a series of high tech small batch experiments in beer. You know, the creators of Flower Power, as you were when, you know, um, the owner worked at um, Ithaca. Um, I dig on their beers quite a bit. And this is some of their rotational stuff, is some of my favorite stuff for a couple of reasons. One, they just print it on the side here. They don't make any fancy labels and stuff, and it just warms my heart to do this. And when I saw this, being that it's relatively fresh, two weeks old, and it's 6.5%, not huge in ABV, that'd be a wet hop harvest IPA. I love wet hop IPA, man. I really do. Um, it's some of my favorite stuff. Um, and when it comes to the hoppier side of things, and this is the time of year, you know, um, everybody's just getting back for hop selection from Yakima. This is, you know, it, we're in mid October here that happened end of September. So everybody's getting their fresh hop stuff in, and this is the time of year you see all that stuff. So I'm eager to dive in. What else do we have on here? I think that's all we get, you know, it's package 10, two, um, 23, that's, that's it. Done and done. You know, let's dive in this sucker. <clears throat> I had this like crazy sniffliness um, thing in my nose that, um, man, okay, hazy. Looks like a, like a New England hazy. I did not expect that. Um, and I'm still a little raspy, got a little cough, but it's, today's like the first day I didn't like have to blow my nose a billion times, and I'm pumped. I'm pumped. So label wise, eh, it's industrial art. So they do this kind of beehive geometric pattern thing, all other stuff. I'm not gonna rewrite the books when it comes to label design. Let's put it that way. It looks like old school New England haze. You know, it has it's 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 hazy. You can glean light through it, but it has that barely off white head, that rich kind of like apricot juice kind of glow to it. So you know, you pour this out of a can, and I don't know what it is. I don't think wet hop IPA is coming to my mind. Not that you can't wet hop, obviously, like a hazy kind of IPA, but this is not what I expected. Not saying it's not going to be great, but just not what I expected. Let's put it that way. So let's all the part of a hazy. Let's see if we can get a nose. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it smells like a really nice, bright, citrus-leaning, hazy IPA. You know, uh, citrus abounds, running a gamut, you're going to learn an orange, a grapefruit, pineapple, a whole nine in here. If you want to talk me in a little bit of tropical, a little bit of stone, fine, whatever. But it is all the citrus are on us. And usually, more often than not, <coughs> excuse me, um, is, you know, what about IPAs tend to have a little bit more green? To them, uh, the oils are intact. The, the, the whole cone hops, the wet hopped IPA, the non pelletized version of wet hop IPA, has this kind of oily, kind of greeny oil kind of thing to it. It lacks this, um, that's, or it's lacking on the nose at least here. That's what they typically expect. And more often than not, you know, wet hop IPA is a traditional old school thing, so you tend to see it in a more traditional, traditional old school kind of presentation, hence the not expecting the hazy portion of the show here. Expect a little bit more kind of like darker, clearer, west coasty leaning kind of IPA. It's definitely not the case here. Big citrus abounds, nice soft sweetness to it, nothing overtly bittering precursor on the nose. Interesting. Let's dive in. Cheers, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it really does come off as just a nice, well done hazy IPA that does lean a bit bittering um the bittering does come off a little bit kind of greeny in the way like a wet hop beer typically does for me you know or that earthiness is probably a better way it's earthiness different than like a fuggly hoppy kind of spicy kind of tannic tea like earthiness it's more just you know there's actual bits and pieces of leaf floating around there it's typically something that you can kind of sense and get off those west, west uh, <clears throat> wet hopped IPAs. And this has a nice mouthfeel to it. It's not going to be confused with being thick or turbid or any stretch of imagination, but you know you're drinking something with a nice soft haziness to it. 
there is a nice citrus to it. And again, citrus is the name of the game here. Running the gamut. Definitely leaning more of a <clears throat> grapefruit orange pithy um, with a nice little bit of fruit juice sweetness, a little bit of pineapple kind of thrown in there. <clears throat> and then it finishes relatively dry. I think that is a combination of one, it's not a super turbid beer. It's not overly sweet. It's fully attenuated. So it's finishing dry, but I think you are getting some form of those little like oils that you typically get from one hot beer that help kind of strip that palate. Typically, that's how those wet hot beers tend to come off and tend to come off a little bit more drier. And it, definitely getting it here. I can see what's going on. You know what I mean? I can see that there's a wet, hop, wet hopped kind of um, thing going on here. And uh, there's a little thing that freaked me out. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, but it's very much kind of like 85% hazy IPA. 15% one hop beers and typically when I have like a wet hop beer it's like 50 50 ordeal you know you're getting an IPA typically again like I said an old school kind of ilk old school kind of uh, construction with just this nice saturated hoppiness that has a combination of the classical hop kind of flavors that you would get in a beer <coughs> but also the flora and fauna that you typically get from a actual whole cone leafed hopped kind of beer now I'm guessing, and this is all just speculation on my I, my part, is that basically I just did a wet hopped new school hop. You know, you think about old school wet hop beers, think about old school sea hops, Cascade, Chinook, all that thing. I think they did like, you know, new school hops, but it, they, they got actual like whole leaf hop versions of those new school hops and then just made a wet hop a hazy IPA. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's tasty. I dig it. It's, it's it's very much kind of like a beer that reminds me of that gap between Fiddlehead and Hetty and Other Half. Like that like that, that that period of time where everybody was figuring out, oh, excuse me, the New England style IPA. This is what, this is what the better breweries were producing. Let's put it that way. It's much better than what a lot of people were doing. Um, so it has a bit of that old school, a bit of that new school. <clears throat> and I really do dig it. Mm. Yeah. Tasty stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and go gaga. I'm not going to be like, oh my god. It's redefining wet hotness. You give this to me. Blind. I don't even think I mention the words wet hop. Let's put it that way. But knowing that what it is. Knowing the brewery. Knowing the things that they do. And the kind of beer this is. I can see them getting to this destination via wet hopped route. Let's put it that way. But a tasty beer. A very, and listen, I bought a four pack of it. I am absolutely stoked that I bought it. Um, and I'll be absolutely, goddamn fly. This one fly has been bothering me for like three days straight. I can't kill it. I need to get one of those salt guns or whatever the hell they are. Anyway, enough mouth fly. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I got it. Let's put it that way. Uh, is it one of the better hazy IPAs I've had as late? Yes. Ma Mount Rushmore status? No. Not like upper, upper echelon, but very, very tasty stuff. I'm glad I bought it. Um, <clears throat> is it one of the better wet hop beers I've had as late? It almost default to one because it's the first one I had of the season. Where do I put it in the grand scheme of things as far as wet hop beers? It's not Mount Rushmore status in general for through all the wet hops that I've had. Um, I think that's a tall... Um, tall, uh, whatever to the, the flies right there. I want, it's on my hand right now, and I want to kill it. See it? See it? I want to kill it. Oh, I didn't get it, but I hit it. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. Man, this review is awesome. Um, but is it one of the more interesting ones? Yes, that would be up there. And there you go. Industrial Arts. Have you had their beers? Do you dig their beers? What's your favorite beer? Have you had this particular beer? What did you think of it? All that fun stuff down there. Review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of wet hopness right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all.